Good day. Um, yeah, we're at one of my all-time favorite roads. Um, I have a bunch of Kevin Rhymer wheels here. As I mentioned, you know, a few months ago at this point, I wanted to do a comparison video between the four different types. Um, technically, there's five because the yellow ones actually are in ADA now, and I have like 77s or something, but it's close enough. Um, yeah, so I figured, not too scientific, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do a right drift, like two right drifts on this right hairpin on each set of wheels, and then two left drifts on the left hairpin on each set of wheels, and just kind of go through and compare and contrast the different wheels and see what I think. Um, yeah, if you don't know much about the Kevin wheels, they are all the same shape. They are just a variety of urethanes and durometers. Um, so the red ones are their race ones. They're the grippiest greens. Significantly slipperier than the reds, but still a little grippier. Purples, the exact same urethane as snakes, but just in the Kevin Rhymer shape. And then these yellow ones are the newer ones. They are also the same urethane as snakes, but they're in a harder durometer. Um, yeah, we'll get into it. Have some fun, hopefully, and maybe I'll have some good things to say about how they compare to each other, and maybe it'll help some people out. I'm gonna be starting on the red wheels. Um, I have ridden all four of these wheels, a fair amount, like a good amount of experience on, on all the durometers and um, things of the different wheels. This is just going to be a good example of going through each one and doing like a very clear direct comparison. Um, but yeah, we're going to start on the red ones. These wheels, the grippiest by far of all the power wheels, um, more designed for like hands down skating, open road skating, having a bit of control when you're going fast, kind of like getting into your race wheel spec but they're still nowhere near as grippy as a race wheel. So if you've got good form, you're a competent rider, maybe you're just a heavier rider, they're gonna be really good free ride wheels as well. Um, I've been really enjoying these lately and yeah, we'll do a couple of slides on them now. So the reds, like, as I kind of mentioned before, they're definitely the grippiest. Um, you can actually hear in the slide, they make a fair bit of noise, which isn't necessarily unusual for a skate wheel, but you'll see in comparison to the other power wheels, it's quite a bit more noticeable. And that's just because they have so much more grip than the other ones. They don't have that smooth kind of hissing that the other power wheels have. They have quite a, <clears throat> like they're really trying to grip. Um, but yeah, that really helps you like, take grip lines, take racier lines, faster lines, good hands down lines. They're just like a safer, they'll slow you down when you need to kind of wheel. Um, next, we're gonna be riding these greens and these make a pretty big jump in the slippery direction. These really get into the realm of free ridey wheels. Um, something about all the power wheels, the Kevin Reimer wheels that we're riding today, they're all the same shape and that shape is a square lift wheel. And so square lift is having that very sharp edged lip which is like a typically race downhill pipe wheel it, it like gives all of them a good like edge grip um but it doesn't make the wheels grippy because they have such a slippery urethane um, so it's a kind of interesting thing to see like square lipped race wheel shapes as like free ride wheels which you'll see as the day goes on they become quite slippery but yeah riding the green ones next I like the greens, they're my favorite. The green ones, we skated them. Uh, the greens are actually my favorite of all four wheels. Um, significantly slipperier than the reds, like a completely different feeling wheel entirely. Um, 
all these Kevin wheels, with having that square lip shape and having a sharp lip, they are a bit grippier when they're fresh, not just because of the skin, but because of the lip. Um, I can show you the difference between my yellow ones are the most fresh. They have actually a bit of a sharp lip. The green ones are a bit more worn in. You can kind of see it's starting to get more burred and rounded. And if we move on to these purples, which I actually got second hand, so I didn't break them in, they're almost a round-lipped wheel. They get quite burred and, and rounded. And so you lose a lot of the edge grip as you get into the life of the wheel. Um, yeah, the greens, they're sort of like a fast free ride wheel. They're grippy enough that you can take them fast and go into corners really fast, but they're also slidey enough you can just throw stand-ups whenever you feel like it for the most part. Um, they're my favorite because I like riding them for like long drive runs and having the freedom to throw stand-up slides, but also having the trust in them to take good lines when you need to and slow you down a bit when you need to. When we start moving into these purple ones, it's a completely different story. Uh, these are just snakes with square lips, which if you ride snakes, maybe they will feel better because they're grippier. If you're me, it gets into scary territory. I was riding these in the spring this year when it was like below 40 degrees. The pavement was always cold and I was enjoying them then. So it's going to be interesting to see what I think of them now in the summertime on a bit warmer pavement. But yeah, we'll see them, we'll compare them, and I'll, I'll let you know. So on that one, I thought I'd try to do some stand-ups, but there's banking on the inside of the corner, so typically you would pre-drift if we come up here. This is also the reason I've been doing like kind of a whack line for every toe side. Whole bunch of cracks and lumps and stuff. Pretty much right here is like the money line for your toe side pre-drift, right in all these cracks. So I've been going inside. I got a little excited, thought I'd try to stand up. I mean, I didn't fall, it just wasn't that cool. Okay, so the, the purples actually surprised me quite a bit. They, they were slipperier than the greens, that's for sure, but they weren't like crazy slidier. They were kind of just like a step down. Um, they weren't super icy or anything like that. My ones also don't really have that sharp square lip like I was mentioning in putting them on. And so the release was a lot smoother and less of a defined, you know, edge of grip. It kind of like smoothly transitioned into them. So I found them easier to try stand-up slides and stuff like that. Like I, I did the standy and the righty, which felt really smooth and just kind of natural. Whereas on the greens, and especially if I tried it on the reds, I'd really have to like throw it sideways. So that was kind of cool. Um, did try the toe sides down there, which I mentioned, but whatever. So, yeah, we're going to move on to the yellow ones now. Um, these are a little bit of a weird story with these. They're like the newest power wheels, but technically mine are like a weird batch of 77As. They were meant to be 80. They came out 77, so he released these first anyway. Um, I have actually done a review on these, so you could check that out as well if you want to know like in depth about these wheels. Um, but these wheels are the slip... Um, not slipperiest, they have the... They're the freshest wheels that I'm riding today. So they're, they're fully broken in, but they are the most fresh out of the four sets I have. What that means is they're gonna have like the strongest lips, like edge grip lip type thing, which is gonna be interesting. As far as the comparison goes, these aren't all in the same amount of life of wheel. Um, but when I did ride these back when I was reviewing them, they were very slidey. So yeah, interesting to see how how these will compare if they're going to be crazy slidey or if that sort of fresher lip is going to keep them about similar with the greens and purples. So slidey. I was in a Coleman for a while and then I lifted up my hand and just kept sliding. 
yeah i forgot also that freshest means fastest these were pretty quick going in all the kevin wheels are like probably evenly speeded and and all pretty quick but being the hardest these ones probably fly the most plus they're pretty fresh so that was quick and fun and very slidey <laughs> I know. Are the um, yeah, the yellow ones. They're like quite a bit slipperier, which is interesting. It sort of went reds out here, greens, purple, yellows. Like I felt a significant difference. I had a feeling they might be like more similar because these are fresh and have that sharp lip. Instead, I had like quite defined edge grip, like a good edge grip compared to the other ones I was riding today. But once you were in the slide, whew, it was just gone. So. Yeah, significantly slipperier. I had more roll speed today because they were bigger, like I said. Um, these were definitely the slipperiest wheels, noticeably. These are more inclined for like, just slip and sliding. Like you don't want to be relying on these to make a good line around a corner because they might ice out on you. Um, if you want to know more about these wheels specifically, the yellow 77A given Rhyme Pro models, I did do a full review on those earlier this year, which you could check out. I'll make one of those thingies pop up in the corner that says, this video is here. <laughs> um, but yeah, really interesting to compare and contrast the wheels. Didn't learn anything too new other than the greens and the purples were actually pretty close to each other as far as slipperiness goes, but yeah. So I guess my idea for this video was to just sort of actually have like a, an actual single session comparison between all the wheels. Colloquially in the skate scene, most people have a pretty good idea of understanding of like the kind of grip ratio that we covered. Um, I just thought it'd be cool to, to actually see someone do it in one day, in one session, back to back for a direct comparison, just to confirm it and just, I don't know, fun video to do. Um, but yeah, so the, the Kevin Reimer wheel, uh, the Kevin Reimer Pro Model wheel from Pal Peralta, also known as K Rhymes, Crimes, and Kevos. I like to call them Kibos because it's funnier. Um, is a 72 millimeter wheel. It's inset, which means it's actually like the wheels kind of got more of the wheel towards the inside than it does to the outside. They have square lips, which are sharp lips for grip, um, but they're not grip wheels. They're more free rider wheels and they're thany. Um, yeah, as they wear down, the lips become more rounded. They become more smoother to initiate. They lose a lot of their grip and they're basically just free ride wheels with a bit more grip than snakes. Um, today we obviously covered all four Duras, I got them on my board which is kind of fun. And so I thought I'd just quickly go through, even though I covered it throughout the video, just do a quick little summary. Basically the red ones are the race ones, they're quite grippy but you can still do stand-up slides. They're not going to be as grippy as a Magnum or something like that, they're going to compare more to like a typical free ride wheel Thane in a square lip shape. Um, they're going to last you the least amount of time as well because they are grippier, they're going to wear down faster. The green, these are significantly slipperier than the red. They're going to last you a lot longer. They're going to like, you know, slide really smoothly, but not, not icy, just really smooth and, and slidey. And these are my personal favorites for free riding, for open roads, enough control, but enough slip to do standies. Moving over into the slipperier end of things, the purples. They're a little bit slipperier than the greens. They're gonna last you a little bit longer. They're gonna have a similar type of, of feel. They're gonna have a little less control for taking hands down lines on fast corners. And they're gonna be a bit easier to kick out and slide for stand up slides and things like that. The yellows are a bit of a step up again. I would say almost, at least today, how they felt the same gap between the red and the green. You're now getting between the purple and the yellow. These were noticeably slidier. Um, just, they just, kept sliding. Right now with the fresh lip I still had a good amount of control with the release of the slide and in the slide I had a bit of that edge grip but they just kept sliding and sliding so you don't want to take these out on open roads, fast corners, high consequence areas. You want to keep to like fun stuff if you're a beginner, if you know if sliding easily is what you're looking for this is what you want or if you know some of the guys in the comments might be like oh I like these yellow ones and I take them down like 
I don't know, jitterbug or something crazy. Like, yeah, good for you. You're probably really good at skating. You could ride with it if you want. These are these are slidey. These are slidey boys. Um, that would be my brief little review of all four of them, and my sort of recommendation for what you want to use them for. Like I said earlier, I did do a full review on the yellow ones, if you want to check that out to learn more specifically about them. Um, I know there's heaps of other reviews out by other guys, great reviews about the other three Kevin Rhymer wheels. But yeah, this was really fun. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to check out some of my other reviews, if you like this, this will be in a playlist of a bunch of reviews. Check them out and subscribe.